If you've seen my last video on the iPad Pro, you know where I stand on this device. It may be my favorite tablet that I've used in a long time, but it's still a first generation Apple product and comes with a bunch of issues. So here are my top five reasons why you should not buy the iPad Pro. Reason number one is the price. This thing is damn expensive, and for this reason alone, I'm very hesitant to recommend this tablet to friends and family. For most people, the iPad Air or Mini would be a much better choice. Like I said before, the iPad Pro may be the best iPad yet and may be one of my favorite tablets right now, but the demographic that this tablet's actually practical for is so restricted, so you should definitely consider all other options before purchasing one. Reason number two is the price of Apple's accessories. The Apple Pencil is great at what it does, and while I'm no artist, I do appreciate the precision that it offers. With that said, I don't understand how it costs as much as it does. $100 for a stylus, are you kidding me? And the keyboard on top of that costs $170, whereas the Surface Pro 4's keyboard only costs $130 and uses real switches instead of whatever Apple using, which is a much better typing experience. The real reason this is a problem for me is that the Apple Pencil and the keyboard add a lot of functionality to the device, but cost another almost $300 to use them. Reason number three is the size, and this one is difficult for me because the size is also something I love about this device because it allows the iPad to house the gorgeous 12.9 inch retina display. This tablet is meant to be used in a stand, on a desk, or with the keyboard that Apple designed. It's simply too big to carry around and use casually for a typical tablet workload like reading articles, watching videos, or playing the occasional game or two. The size of this tablet also allows for other features not found on its smaller counterparts like two sets of solid stereo speakers. Reason number four is the lack of forced touch. This is something that I feel like Apple cheaped out on. The newest iPad is supposed to be the best touchscreen product that Apple has, so when Apple cuts corners like this, it makes me less inclined to recommend this device. A little over a month before the iPad Pro, Apple announced the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus with their new Force Touch functionality. It would have made sense, logically, that every touchscreen device after that would also have Force Touch in it, but no. Reason number five is a limited OS. I saw you guys talking about this in the comments on my last iPad Pro video, and I couldn't agree more. iOS 9 is a great mobile operating system for things like the smaller iPads and the iPhones, but for a tablet this powerful, OS X, or maybe like a hybrid, would have made a lot more sense. I'm not sure why Apple is so reluctant to make a touchscreen computer, but they'll probably come around to it eventually. I mean, after all, they did finally decide to give the stylus a chance against Steve Jobs' wishes. Let me know your thoughts on the iPad Pro and if you think I missed anything in the comments below. Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more content like this, and as always, stay classy.